Hey, what's up everybody? I'd like to welcome you to another Juice tutorial. And this isn't so much a tutorial, so to speak, as it is, well, basically, here's the story. So I was working on a project today, and basically I'm porting my project from one, uh, one Juice project to another. And along the way, I was starting to find some common errors that I've run into that have kind of kept me really frustrated for hours and couldn't really find a solution and, you know, had to do all these different workarounds. And they're really kind of common problems that I've seen working in C++. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool just to do a video, just going through, you know, porting this project live and kind of showing you some really common errors that I've seen along my travels so far and, you know, show you how I solve them and hopefully they'll help you as well, you know, so you don't run into the same things or when you run into them, you, you see them and you say, oh, I know what, you know, I know what to do now. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of port this project live. It doesn't really matter what the project is about. It's a big, it's a pretty big project with a couple different dependencies, but I thought it would be good just to show you some of these common errors that I run into and how I, how I get around them. Okay. So basically we're going to start a new project and this is going to be an audio application. I'm just going to call this demo project and I'm just going to put it in this folder and I'll put it here. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I have this library that I'm going to use. It's a machine learning library called RapidLib. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically port this. I'm going to bring this in to my project here. And that's the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just try to get this, this project going. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a folder. I'm just going to call this rapid lib. Oh, what happened there? Oh, what am I doing? Delete that. Go back. Now let's do this. Okay, now I'm going to just bring this up here. So I'm going to show you a really, really common error that I see when I'm importing um, like third party libraries and things like this. So I'm going to bring in this source folder. Let me let me make sure I got this right. So now I need to go in here, dependencies. Rapid lib, and then I'm going to bring in this source folder. And just drop it in there. And then I'm going to bring in these dependencies. I'm going to drop this in here. Just need to put this in this rapid lib folder. And okay, so we have this. Now I'm gonna go to this other project I have, and I'm just going to include the paths to this folder in, in my CPP project. And here's my project. And now I'm just gonna go in here, into my source, into my main component, and basically, I'm just going to now include those in my includes. Okay. And now let's try to compile and see what happens. We should get an error. So we have all these little warnings and everything. That's nothing. Let's see. So we should get a really common error that I see when I'm adding new libraries to uh, to Juice or to C++. So it's taking forever. Sorry about this. Maybe one day I'll get to editing, actually editing these videos and cutting down the time. Um, okay, cool. So this is a super, super common error that I see all the time. Um, if we go down here, something like 11 duplicate symbols, duplicate symbols for architecture 8664. Okay. And so what that means, right, 
is that in this library that I've included, there are basically duplicate symbols, right? So it's kind of exactly what it says, but it's very kind of confusing. So what it means is that you might have like a dependency. You might have a dependency in this library somewhere where it's saying, okay, I want to link it to, um, you know, foo.h, but there are two foo.hs and it doesn't know which one to, uh, that, that you're referring to. Okay. So sometimes in these libraries, you have files that are actually, uh, kind of named twice. So there's two versions of the file and it doesn't know which one that you're trying to talk about. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I fixed it in this, in this situation. So it's important that when you're doing this, that you go back to the juicer itself and, and do any of the work in there and not in Xcode. Okay. So in this particular example, if we look, right, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. You'll see that, and this, this took a little, this took me hours actually to figure this out. So I have two Bayesian filters dot H, right? So you got one there in this dependencies, you have one that's in this folder called base filter, and then you have Bayesian filter dot H. Then I have another one that's called Bayesian filter dot H and they're both, you know, actually all four of these files and they're both there in the library. So, so it's saying, you know, I don't know whether you're talking about the one in the base filter folder or the one in the source folder. Okay. So, um, so the way that I did it, you know, these, these sort of things kind of take a little bit of working around, see what works, see what doesn't work. And, um, you just want to remove the references. Okay. You don't want to like actually delete it. Maybe you do. Um, but <laughs> I just removed the references and then, um, and then I've put, I think I ended up taking this source folder and putting it just one folder higher in dependencies. And now let's, let's see if that actually works. Okay, so here's our, here's our project again. So let's build and see if that solves that problem. Okay, build succeeded. So now, so now that works. Okay, like I said, super common error that I see all the time when I'm like trying to import libraries and that sort of thing. Normally there's some sort of duplicate file in the library that you're trying to import and you have to kind of, um, you have to kind of go in there and fix it. You have to do a little bit of dirty work, unfortunately. Okay, so next next one. Okay, so we're, let's go to the source code. So I'm gonna go, and now I'm gonna inherit some methods here, or inherit some classes rather. I'm going to bring in some OSC classes. So this is another really common, really common one. So I'm bringing in this OSC receiver class, which is a class in juice. And right away we're getting some errors. Okay. So, so let's compile and let's see what's happening. Okay. So it says failed, expect, expect a class name here. And then here it's saying, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. But this one, this one's kind of an easy fix. So once again, we have to go back to the producer. Just turns out that some of these, some of these classes, you have to actually add the, uh, the actual module. Okay. So sometimes that can really kind of throw you off in that, you know, you're saying, Oh, it's a part of juice. I don't know why it's not working. And, um, just turns out that, you know, some of these classes aren't automatically kind of brought in. So we just have to, in this case, we just have to include the juice OSC class. And now we can just re open an Xcode. And we can just try to rebuild that. And we still have a, so this brings me to another, so this brings me to another one here that, uh, that's super common allocating an object of abstract class type main component. Okay. So this, this one is a little bit kind of weird. So sometimes there's a virtual method that you have to use. Sometimes you have these virtual methods that you have to, that you have to use. And it doesn't, um, when you don't, when you don't actually have them instantiated and used, it'll give you another error that doesn't have anything to do 
with what your actually what your actual error is. Okay, so uh, and I think that's the case in this situation. It might not be. Uh, so let's see. So there's a virtual method in here, which is uh, OSC message received. So now I just need to go in here into okay and I'm just gonna paste this just gonna paste this code in okay so <clears throat> another thing especially like when you're porting when you're doing a lot of porting is that you have to make sure that when you when you're porting it over that you have the right name of your 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 folder in here so so this in this case it's main component so if you just leave this void osc message received but you don't have the main component in front of it it won't know what you mean also override just needs to be declared in the header file okay so so we just need to go take this and now we just need to declare it here in our header file our header file rather I'm just going to do a command T to actually split this and just have the header, the, the component on the right side and the dot H on the left hand side. So we don't have to keep doing this. So for now, I'm going to just take this and comment all this stuff out. Okay. Then we need to go back to the header file. I need to mark this as override because it is a virtual function. Okay. And then let's see if that fixes the error or not. Okay. Looks looking good so far. Okay. I actually have ScreenFlow. I need to I need to start using ScreenFlow rather than QuickTime for my recording so I can fast forward through these through these builds. So sorry that this takes so long. Okay, build succeeded. So as you can see, right? So so I guess the point of that is is that you get an error sometimes that it says um you know, in that case it was um I can't remember what it was about, but, but basically what I'm saying is that sometimes you'll have a virtual function that you need to instantiate when you're, when you're bringing in these, um, these other class, when you're including these other classes or inheriting from another class. And that if you don't, in, if, if you don't inherit them, uh, or if you don't instantiate them and, um, and also if you, if you instantiate it, if you declare it and then don't, and, and then forget to actually put it in your CPP, you'll get like a really strange error that normally has nothing to do with the fact that you haven't actually instantiated the, uh, the, the virtual method. Okay. So that's that one. So let's see. So let's see what else we have here. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to uncomment all this. And then I'm going to go back to my, a project that I'm actually copying from and I'm going to just declare some variables here. So just going to copy this from this other file, bring it in here and then just paste it here. See if we run into anything else or if that's pretty much it. Okay, so in the CPPs, you're going to have some of these methods that are dependent on other classes that I've built through my project. I'm not going to bring those in at the moment, but um, maybe I will at some point. And I will later on, actually. And lock to repaint is a method I haven't created yet. Great. So that succeeded. So I think I think I'll actually just leave this video here because uh, that because those are some of the some of the main errors that I really wanted to discuss. Like like I said, you know, some sometimes you'll get these errors and they're really kind of unclear in what you know you what you really need to do. 
but hopefully this video kind of shows you some of the common ones and some some ways to fix it. So I hope you found that helpful and I will see you next time.